Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got something really crazy for you guys today. All right, we picked up these two nine inch solid glass spheres. We're gonna shoot them. We're gonna step it up from where Demolition Ranch left off. He did a really good video. I think he had a bigger sphere, like a 10 or 12 inch one. And he shot it with a bunch of pistol, I think all the way up to an armor piercing incendiary 50 BMG round. Well, we thought we'd take it a little further. So what we got today, we got two nine inch spheres and we are gonna shoot it with the infamous slap round. This is not the slap tracer like um, Scott shot on Kentucky Ballistic. Scott, we are so glad you're doing good, brother. We really are. Um, you know, we started shooting these things first then Edwin and then um, Kentucky Ballistics got into them and some jerk loaded that round too hot, wrong powder something. Um, I haven't seen the complete outcome of that yet, but um, it caused a lot of harm doing something they shouldn't have been doing. So we're really glad you are back at it, Scott, because uh, you got a great channel, brother. We're gonna shoot the slap round now. These are an actual military slap round. If you look at the round, you can see the crimp right there around the neck, very, very different. Also, they will have a nickel primer in the back, which burns hotter, I believe. So we either buy these military uh, rounds with the proper crimp, or we have a friend that loads them for us. All right, and then what we're gonna shoot for you guys is Justin's favorite, the Ralphus round, AKA we call it the party popper. And again, let me show you this one because this has a special crimp when they are a military surplus type round, not a reload round. So here's this round up close. Again, you can see right there, it's a different crimp than a normal 50 cal crimp round. All right, so that's what we got for you. We got these two rounds. I do have an extra round of each in case it misses, which I really hope it don't because this is like $400 for four rounds. These things are crazy expensive, but they are awesome. So what we got for you guys after this is done. All right, in our last video, this one here, the tire chain body armor. We had shot it with a Russian armor piercing incendiary round. We zeroed the rifle and when he shot it, sometimes these reloads have a mind of their own and it hit really low. It didn't really go through the poly on the back here. So we're gonna reshoot this for you because we've got a lot of good surface area left on this thing. We're gonna shoot it again with the armor piercing incendiary Russian round. And if that misses again, we have an Israeli armor piercing incendiary round that we will shoot at it. And these things are pretty, pretty nasty rounds as well. So that's what we got for you guys today. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Mecarina. Mecarina is a super cool tactical team-based five versus five shooter game with skill-based competitive play. Mech Arena has tons of awesome mechs, each with the unique abilities and different play styles, huge varieties of weapons to unlock and upgrade. There's also thousands of ways to customize your mech with hundreds of amazing skins, custom paint jobs, with unlimited weapon combinations to build your mech to fit your play style and personality. And Mech Arena has loads of game modes. Control point capture, five versus five, and two versus two deathmatch tournaments and more. Jump into quick matches solo or play with your friends against other teams of players around the world. Look for me in the username Preacher. Maybe we can hook up together and win some battles. With custom matches, Mech Arena lets you play with whoever you want on any map you want as many times as you want. No limits. And this game is super active with regular special events, in-game competitions and tournaments, and new mechs, weapons, and game modes being released every month. So use my link down in the description or scan my QR code to get one free gold crate, 15,000 credits, and 200 A coins to get a head start before anybody else. Mech Arena is getting ready for its worldwide release in August. But if you live in the US, Canada, or UK, or any other lucky country, you can get started right now. So download Mech Arena today, guys. It's free for your iOS and Android. Get in the game and knuckle up.
All right, so first round up is going to be the Raupus, and also known as the Party Popper, my favorite. And uh, as you notice, I got this sweet barricade because I don't want to damage any of this here. <laughs> so, oh, these guns? Yeah, don't worry about those guns. That's for another video, so go ahead and subscribe and you can see that later. All right, I'm gonna load the Ralphus. I'll be shooting through this glory hole right into our glass ball. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Wow, <laughs> that did some crazy damage. Clear. That was insane, dude. <laughs> I mean, gone. On demolition ranches, when I think when he shot that um, 50 BMG API round, he took a good chunk out of it. Again, he had a bigger sphere, but this one was just gone. Good shooting there, Justin. Oh, thank you. So, well, that's that. I mean, there's nothing left. Just a bunch of glass where Justin's children play. Kidding, he has no kids. We're gonna get the other one set up and hope that the slap round hits it dead on. So here we go. So that last round was a success. I was able to actually to hit it, but uh, now we're gonna shoot the slap at it. And there's always a difference between from one round to the next as far as weight and load and all that good stuff. So we haven't had the best of luck with accuracy on these ones. Well, I'm gonna try my best to hit it smack dab in the center. All right. You ready for a chooch? Go for it! Here we go. Dang. Hey, I hit it, look at that. I did good? Well, Justin, it looked like you hit almost dead center. Oh, look at this. It was burning it because the angle of the sun, um, these things again are like a magnifying glass and uh, it was actually burning the, whoo, that's still hot, Edwin. Um, it was burning the edge there. That would have been cool if it caught on fire. But yeah, check this out. Nice big old pieces. Bunch back here. We're gonna set up that tire chain body armor and we know that that rifle is dead center. Let's hope that that Russian API round hits it and we'll see what it does. So we're gonna stack some sandbags here, uh, just like we did on the last video. Give it all the same stuff. Here we go. All right, so now it's time for the Russian API <clears throat> into the uh, chain, tire chain body armor, the budget body armor. I'm pretty confident it'll go through the body armor, the sandbags, and I'm hoping it'll tap the uh, level three plate on the backside. We had some comments saying that there's no way, but I'm hopeful. Let's be positive. I don't think it'll go through that, that plate on the back, but I think it'll hit it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Dang. Dang. Oh, that was a good one. Jeez. What happened here? Clear. Check it out, it's on fire, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. Actual flame. 
That is cool. Good thing we brought a fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really need it, but. Well, it pretty, it pushed this plate, but well, Justin, them guys were right. It didn't go through, it's somewhere in this pile. We're gonna have to find that uh, projectile. But, some of you guys said it wouldn't go through everything, but it did. There's a smoking hole right there, buddy. Blew right through it. All right, we're gonna dig real quick, see if we can find that projectile for you. We'll be right back. So we dug through the sandbags and we did find this part of it right here. And then we did find some of the jacket right here. And we looked closer at the plate and it actually did go all the way through. And we got this little shiny nick right here that's it just hit it because the plate had fallen over. It did go through the sandbags and obviously through our tire chain body armor, but hey, it is what it is. So both of y'all were almost correct. <laughs> All right, that's what we got for you guys today. Don't forget to pick up your Going Ballistic t-shirts at the link down below. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be back. This is some really good crystal just to show you guys real quick, or glass, whatever. So I already burned a hole in this thing once. I burnt myself. I went to go pick it up. It was sitting in the sun. And like the magnifying glass you used to do when you were a kid, just burning wood and stuff like that. This thing is the same thing. Let's see if I can focus it. I don't know if you guys can see it smoking there. But uh, this, is some, this is some high quality glass here. It's very, very clear. So um, yeah, it... Uh, it's good stuff, this ought to be fun. <laughs>